The ruler tool in Photoshop is very handy and helpful when it comes to creating brochures, magazine covers. So let's go forward and see this, learn and see this tool. The ruler tool basically have guides, vertical guides and horizontal lines on our image. So we can create various vertical lines, various horizontal lines in our image. Now this image and these guides would actually be non-printing lines and these lines are called as guides now we can actually position images or elements precisely using these rulers we can calculate the distance between any two points in the workspace and a non-printing line is drawn which is known as the guide we can actually use the ruler key by pressing ctrl and r directly also if in case you cannot see the guide, you can go to the view menu, go to new guides. You can also lock these guides in case you don't want them to move and you can also unlock these guides. These lines or these guides can be moved using the move tool. And like I said, it has amazing use in designing magazines and brochures. So guys, let's go and see how can we use these in the Photoshop. So the ruler tool actually helps us to create grid lines on our page. So this is where I can select my ruler tool. So it's just below the eyedropper tool and this is my ruler tool. So you can see a ruler next to my arrow. Now this tool is very helpful when you're designing brochures and magazines when you want to have work on defined measurements of parts. So I can grab a ruler from here. So you can see I'm just keeping it my keyboard pressed. I want you know a, a division on the top for my magazine another one so I'm gonna if in case I leave it I can just do control and again so if you want to drag another thing make sure you have controlled pressed I want verticals as well so I'm gonna divide into a three page brochure and if you know so and again I can keep the control and I can see and I can actually see on my ruler measurements how much ruler that you know the space I will be using so I can have defined measurements I can start defining brochures so I'm gonna double click here and bring my ruler here so in case these grid lines are not showing you can go to view and you can you know click on these rulers to you know make them visible or so again you can see these rulers have gone so I can do view and again have my rulers back I can also have, you know, if I want, I can show the grid lines as well if I want, but I don't want. So if I want to be precise and you want to use the grid way, then you can have these grid lines as well. So we can go again to view, extras, show. So on view, you have, you know, everything you need. So I can, I'm going to hide these grids. So, so I can create whatever I want and these are non-printing lines. So these lines will not print. For instance, I'm designing and I want to, you know, add a shape. So I can go here and if this is selected my marquee tool, I can, you know, go ahead and create maybe a circle. And I can start to keep designing whatever I want. I can also use the pen tool. I can give this a color, maybe a green color I'm looking at. And... You know, I can keep coloring this part. Maybe we can just use a pen tool. I can go here or do a pen and I can quickly click here. And I click here while clicking here. If you watch uh, videos on pen tool on tutorials point, you will be able to see how can we create shapes using pen tool. While I click here, I'm not leaving it and I want to create a shape, maybe a straight shape or maybe just a curve. So. I can have a curve so I'm just rotating on my keyboard pad you can look at the tutorials there for this help and I can you know create this selection by clicking on the left so I have this selection now and I can you know make different shapes the way I want so this comes very handy when you're designing any shapes on the brochure so the entire brochure is made using this tool and you can add your content your shape your design so the right hand side here could be your cover page this is your ending page and this is your middle page so you can define custom sized stuff on your magazine or brochure